This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Hey guys and welcome to All About Linux. Today, I will be testing and comparing the CPU and GPU performance of two pre-release distros, Ubuntu 21.04 and Fedora Raw High, also known as Fedora 34. My test PC is sporting an AMD Ryzen 5 2400G CPU and AMD Radeon RX 590 with 8GB of GDDR5 VRAM and 16GB of DDR4 2666MHz RAM. Without further ado, let's get into the test. Starting the test with a game of War Thunder, Ubuntu 21.04 performed pretty well with a few starters and an average frame rate of 76.9 fps, 1% lows at 47 fps, and 0.1% lows at 28.2 fps. To achieve this, my graphics settings were set to 1080p and the high preset. Unfortunately for Fedora Raw Height, I forgot to start the logging of the frame rates, but the frame rate hovered around 55 to 65 fps with the same settings, and the game was basically starter free. Overall, I think Ubuntu 21.04 wins this round for the higher average frame rates. Following that, I proceeded to play a game of Diffusal Group Sigma in CSGO. This is my first time playing both War Thunder and CSGO, so do excuse my subpar skills. Nevertheless, I got an average frame rate of 74.8 FPS, with 40 and 30.1 FPS for the 1% lows and 0.1% lows respectively on Ubuntu 21.04. During combat, these frame rates will usually drop to around 50 to 55 FPS. On Fedora, the average frame rate was 63.4 FPS with 32.4 and 23.1 FPS for the 1% lows and 0.1% lows. I wasn't too satisfied with Fedora's performance this time as there were quite some frame drops and graphical artifacts. So this would be another win for Ubuntu. Before I continue with the CPU test, I would like to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN protects your privacy and security online and blocks geo-restricted content like certain Netflix libraries with features that is ultra-fast 3200 plus servers in 65 countries, industry-leading encryption, ad blocker, and many others. It works on an unlimited number of devices from Android and iOS to Windows, Mac OS, and Linux to Chrome and Firefox extensions. Best of all, you can get Surfshark VPN today for the first 3 months free, then 81% off for just $2.49 per month. Do head over to surfshark.du slash allaboutlinux and get Surfshark today. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. By the way, if you like this new type of video, do consider hitting that subscribe and like button. Finally, I ran a Geekbench 5 test to test the CPU performance for each of the distros. As we can see, the multi-core scores were almost the same for both Fedora and Ubuntu, with Fedora aging out Ubuntu by a bit, while in the single-core scores, Ubuntu had a lead over Fedora. I would consider this a tie. So, in conclusion, I think Ubuntu 21.04 won this test. Though the two distros traded blows in the Geekbench 5 CPU test, the game showed clearly which would be the better distro for gaming currently. However, I would not recommend you to choose distros based on this test only. Both Ubuntu 21.04 Daily and Fedora Raw High are still an early beta and pre-release distro with updates coming in daily as the former's name suggests. This video is just to give you all an early look at the performance of these two distros. There might be a performance improvement on the next update for Raw High or a bug that reduces performance of Ubuntu 21.04. Only until both distros are officially released can we make a good conclusion on which distro performs better. Also, do let me know what you think about this new type of videos down in the comment section. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video.